So now this is a good example of the huge difference between what is direct YouTube see with Instagram and the other platforms they they go so fast nobody has a chance to like it before it goes to a commercial or whatever it is definitely the best interview question I've ever heard directed to Taylor hadn't struck gold in Nashville where would you be or what would you be doing Oh, wow. I think I would have, I definitely would have gone to college. I would have gone to college probably for business. Um, and I, I might have ended up following my passion for shopping for furniture. And so I went to Job Corps, watch the uh, students, I guess, go into uh, Business 101, I think is what it was. And... I didn't see any attractive women, so I went right to welding. <laughs> I didn't stay too long, actually. Uh, got bored with the arc welding within a uh, matter of a month, doing beads, and uh, the teacher wanted to sit in his office more than train the kids, so then I went to culinary arts and finished that. and been an interior decorator. Like I've been known to like go into my friends' apartments and fill it with furniture and they get home and it's like furnished. <laughs> like, uh, I don't know. I like mean, a reality show. Well, my friends, they don't like, <laughs> they don't buy furniture and I love buying furniture. And like, you know, I just. <laughs> Why not? Killing time. Yeah, it's toast, and it's a second seat. This one came out of a 99. They didn't have the height control. But the bad thing, even the new things, uh, they just got like wire cords underneath them with springs. Uh, needs a actual bucket seat. That has a bucket base. I'll just clean radiator out pre-soaked it, yeah, I don't know, probably an hour. And then, oh, I need the headlamp to see through. So I can see that. See if I can get that light turned right. Oh, I guess it'd help if I turn off this front light. They caught it early, early enough this time that. See, that's like cotton stuff. That's the stuff I don't want to be packing back in there. So luckily I caught it soon enough and just doing a spray bottle. It's enough of a detergent. I just put it in that container Washed out pretty good. A little bit of belt debris. I don't think I need that light anymore.
So when I put on belt dressing, I always go at an angle like that into it. And this is the second timing belt shield. Because if it gets overheated, it will warp it. Like some stuff that would be like extremely custom to have made to actually get more than, well, to bore the engine out and get a second life out of the block. So anyway, went in. I was going to take it to the car wash, but the pressure is what concerns me. It's easy to fold the fins. So for less than a dollar, just got a nylon spoon. Use the tea candle. And it says, let's see, 450 degrees. I melted it to the angle I needed. be mobile. I don't got a garden hose. It's a better shape for a better, uh, gravy spoon too now. <laughs> See, they didn't take it all off. But that's probably loose and soft enough that That's probably the best I'm going to get it without putting real pressure on it. So a garden hose would do a little bit better, but that's enough until I get a bug screen on it at least. I'm going to go with a soffit screen. Fortunately, I don't think the roll actually is that wide. So I'll probably have to double it up. A little temporary fixes to keep things cost effective and last a little bit longer. I have such a blast with it that I think that might be something that I would love enough for like a backup career, but I would never love anything as much as doing this, you know? When you're buying furniture, I can only imagine you're hitting like antique shops and yeah, vintage yeah, yeah. stuff. You're not like hitting the 
the, the actual store, right? You're... Well, there's like, I like to pair antique stuff with, you know, like you don't want, I don't want an antique couch. There's bugs in it, you know? <laughs> there's badness that, yeah. Yeah, like okay. couch, there are things that are just done better today. Couches, done better today, <laughs> you know? But there are things like, you know. <laughs> That's the, doing upholstery before. Yeah, so the darker of the foam, even though it's a little bit different foam, like that's all like sweat that's built up into the pores of it. You can shampoo it, steam it, steam it to bring it back to life, but those are actually like, some of those are burn holes that the wear wore it down to. And then sunlight exposure. Yeah, this poor seat's taking a heck of a beating. But yeah, still, the, with the uh, wire cords it's got in it, you'd be surprised, like, how much for duration, how long a person has to take to innovate it into being something that'll last 100 years. laptop touch pads wearing out oh an old chest that you turn into a coffee table or like this amazing old like medicine trunk thing it's like an apothecary drawer thing <laughs> yeah see that's why I gotta like do all this before like female takes it over I thought about it but that cross support bar pretty much takes it away. I can go directly up and down like that, but then that weakens, the hitch would take the main impact and would fold too easy into the center versus this would distri distribute the weight better across it. So I had to sacrifice basically the hitch assembly for putting two drawers in basically. I, I thought about that for a toolbox, but uh, it's still got to be whatever I build in it easy enough to pull it out to have the foot compartment back. It was made like a hundred years ago. That's better made then, probably. You know, and, and I it's just, got a story. I have all these categories in my mind. I don't know. It's hard to explain. <laughs> and I can only I go into a trance when I go into those places. I don't even. I, you can't even read. <laughs> uh, so fun and entertaining, though. But yeah, it's all non-toxic. The drain, very close, but it all evaporates and soaks into the asphalt. Well, I'm on the Walmart side now, of the Rim Rock Shopping Center. Lowell's last night, take care of the tedious maintenance. But yeah, actually I think the, uh, the text of the question was written wrong. I heard something totally different. Here, roll up my window. I thought I heard if you hadn't struggled in Nashville. I didn't struggled in Nashville. Where would you be or what would you be doing? If you hadn't struggled in Nashville. Um, see, I'm going to assume from what I've heard, the struggle was before Nashville for Taylor. So, but on the same token, yeah, struck gold in Nashville. 
found a settling place. So I anticipate that one hardship is the same at another place, it's just each place is designed a little bit differently, so finding the resources to get stable, that's the challenge. Warmed it up enough to rebake all the bugs. So that way it doesn't mess up any of the fins. And it's pretty much like uh, one day's wear. So now, I gotta get other mountain spots. So I put some of that Kraft E6000 behind here so the plastic's not, it's got a softer material between the metal and the plastic. So now I gotta give me a few more holes. I might have to actually like crimp this out or something like that to give me a, a more of an edge or form one in here or something like that. But this is basically where I'll have to get a, basically make like a window screen framework. But I want, rocks would penetrate through a normal aluminum screen, but if I had two layers, they usually stop most of them. So I want something a little bit heavier than the aluminum screen with a little bit bigger holes. Just for a temporary, basically. 